You know, signing a Matt Castle brought a lot of sarcasm and uh, cynicism uh, from uh, pundits and fans and things like that. Oh, another former Patriot, a name. Oh, Matt Castle. Look, I'm not saying Matt Castle is going to rescue uh, the Lions, but that was a good signing. A backup quarterback is probably the most underrated in a certain way a spot in the NFL, and you better cover your back at that position. I don't know how good Jake Rudock is. He had a pretty good preseason last year. He's become much better athletically. He's really worked uh, since he left Michigan, but you know, there's no experience at all there, and they needed somebody like a Matt Castle. Think about this. Nobody thought Nick Fold was any good. Nobody last year. Nobody could have predicted that. Uh, he carried the Eagles to the Super Bowl. Think about this. Case Keenum. Oh, Case Keenum. Oh, the Vikings can't win. Case Keenum stunk. Case Keenum carried them. Uh, you have extremes like when Kurt Warner replaced Trent Green and things like that. And I'm not saying Castle will do that, but he did have a season in which uh, they got double-digit wins and he was the full-time quarterback for the Patriots. Uh, he has been in the league for a while. And if something happens with Matthew Stafford, this is a, it might be two or three games where you need a quarterback, whatever. Castle might be a really good signing for them. So I wouldn't be sarcastic about it. I would look at it and see look at how Bob Quinn is trying to cover himself at every different position, have depth. Where last year, uh, quite frankly, he didn't do a very good job at that. And quarterback is one of those positions. So I, I didn't think it was the hugest signing in the history of the world. But trust me, something happens to Stafford and they need a backup quarterback. We'll see. I don't know if he can play anymore, but they needed to cover that position a little bit better than Jake Rudock, who's never taken a snap in the game.